Chris Bosch is going to be making a potential return. And here is what he told MSG when he was sitting courtside with his son. It was an adorable moment when his son was asked, are you gonna be a baller? And he goes, what's a baller? <laughs> it was adorable, but on the serious note, Chris Bosch on his potential return. Rumor on the street, you are not retired. I'm sure that makes people very happy. What's going on? Well, yeah, I, I have to remind people that I'm not retired yet. I haven't made up my mind. Uh, basketball is still on my heart and on my mind. And, uh, you know, that's one of the main things that I'm trying to get back to. I understand where he's coming from. Because we see this, the similarity is when you feel like your career is ending because of something you can't control, it's very similar to what we see with a lot of boxers and fighters when they just continue to fight because it's what they know and they don't want their own career to end. What I hate about this is that we were stripped of a Hall of Famer's potentially not great years. I think his great years were in Toronto, and then he was literally the third guy in Miami when, of course, he did win a few titles with LeBron James and Dwayne Wade and created the new era of big threes in the NBA. If you're the Warriors, you have a big four, and you created that on your own. But what sucks is that he couldn't pad his stats that much more, potentially even just feel me, hear me out here. Don't feel me out. Hear me out. Uh, if Chris Bosh were to go to a team like Milwaukee as a free agent, oh, that'd be so interesting. And yet we're stripped of that, and Chris Bosh is stripped of his career. I don't see a return happening is my main opinion here. I see a return happening. I don't feel like he'd jeopardize his health if he, he, if he didn't feel that he was capable enough of returning, maybe not at the same caliber that he once played, but still able to maybe pass the baton to some of these younger players and act you know, and really own, um, better yet said, uh, that veteran role. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe the Knicks might not be a good fit. He does have the uh, the relationship with, uh, what is it, the, the manager, the coach there? David Fisdale, head coach he of the He has Knicks. that relationship there, but it's not, um, I don't know if it might be a good fit, just because if you're building It's not a, a good fit. Let me stop you. Not a good fit. Just who, who owns the Knicks? James Dolan. Listen. Who is James Dolan? If if he feels the biggest asshole in if he, sports. If he feels if he feels that he's capable of coming back and uh -huh. the Knicks is is somewhere that's willing to open the door for him, then by all means go ahead and go in. But I feel like maybe if if we're really going to own that veteran role, maybe uh, the Sixers might be a better fit. I agree with both of those. I just don't see it happening. By the way, the, the quote that Denise is referring to about him going to the Knicks is this. Asked if he could see himself playing in New York, the 34-year-old said bluntly, if they make me a deal, yeah, it's up to the team doctors from that team, and then we go from there. And then he went on, still, it's complicated, said uh, Stefan Bondi, as Bosch noted. Over a year ago, his clotting issues were ruled by the NBA and Players Union as career ending. He was released by the Heat, which are holding his medical records. The fear with blood clots or specifically his blood thinning medication is that contact could result in severe internal bleeding. Like, this is serious, guys. It's all about risk benefit, said the Miami Herald. Blood thinners obviously increase your risk of bleeding, especially brain bleeds. The newer generation, including Zarelto, which Bosch reportedly took last year, have less risk of brain bleeds. Worst case scenario, but still carry with them an increased risk of bleeding. The worry is someone who is on a blood thinner takes a fall, so it's definitely possible to play with. You just worry about potential for bad luck, an elbow to the head, etc. And then lastly, clots in the leg, which were in his calf, Chris Bosch's calf, tend to travel to the lung. Clots in the heart tend to travel to the brain and cause strokes. So that is what we're dealing with here with Chris Bosh. Right, and and again, I feel like it's one of those things where he's been battling with blood clots for such a long time that mm -hmm. this isn't new to him. So mm -hmm. he knows, again, it's a very difficult injury and di difficult health issue to battle, but he knows, I'm sure he knows what he's capable of handling, and it's one of those situations where <clears throat> he's always been lighthearted about, about it. Yes. He's always still maintained his character. Even when uh, LeBron went to the Heat and he had to take kind of a backseat, um, he still managed it to be a role player. He he was entertaining to the media. He you know we made him into a meme, but in a in a great way. Mm -hmm. Like Chris Bosh has been the most lighthearted player, hard worker because he's fighting through these blood clots the yes. entire time. So again. I don't think he is putting himself in a position where he can't handle it. And if he feels like he can return, he would have retired by now if he felt like he was at a point of retiring. Of course, maybe there's some self-identity problems that he's worried about. But I do think that he might have like one, at least one, two years in. So left. Here is something that I just thought of. And I agree with everything you're saying. 
Chris Bosh, we're all rooting for him, right? We're all like, oh, man, we want Chris Bosh to right. return. Nice guy. We, we can't wait. I hope he returns. I hope he's okay. And then how would your opinion change if he signed for the Golden State Warriors? <laughs> Honestly, because he's such a nice guy and he's going through so much, I don't think people you, would look at him differently. You are such a good person that you're saying this. 90%, I mean, like, we should put up a poll. Like, would your opinion change of Chris Bosh if he signed with the Golden State Warriors? I would say as much as 85% would say yes. They'd be like, Bob, so. blank Chris Bosh. I feel like they Screw would. Screw <laughs> you, Chris Bosh. I feel like they would think like, oh, man, he's really trying to get through these health issues in the best uh, way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? I, I completely agree. They'd be like your guidance counselor when it's like, yeah, we know you need a D, but you're still getting an F. You know what's my favorite song? You could ring my bell. So do it, why don't you? Ring the damn bell and download the TYT app. Available on Android and iOS.